All right, you guys, so I got the sprint jet back out here. So what I'm doing is some testing on the adjustable nozzle. I'm at a local lake here. The river is a little bit of a distance for me, so today's weather has been cooperating. Got a slight break, slight mist, but you know, I've just kind of try it and kind of see. Um, also wanted to show you guys is I was messing around, checking it, so I'm trying a different, you know, intake right here, and this is actually from the Pro Boat River Jet, which that one actually fits. Same bolt pattern, everything. You know, the grill is a little bit wider, um, so you got to be careful with that. I can allow a little bit more debris back in there versus the stock one, and so you know. I'll, but I just wanted to give it a shot. So you know, between that and then the adjustable, we'll see how. It kind of runs out here. You know, it's kind of smooth right now, and um, you know, just kind of, kind of show. So you know, get up on plane right now. I got to set it neutral. It's running pretty good. Slight, slight waves, but you can see kind of balance and stuff like that. See so what's kind of cool. Now I can hit the button, start adjusting it down, and just smooths it out so a lot more. And what kind of cool is you kind of you can adjust it like on a fly depending on what your conditions are you know you can see the boat just completely coming out of the water now so about normal so you can just see much of a difference i was able just to make a quick adjustment just like that instead of bring it back in and you know adjust it back out again and it just gives another adjustability now it'd be kind of cool to see what it will do like on a river or something like that where you can kind of adjust it especially if you're trying to get up and over something you can give it a positive angle get that about more up and you know more out of the water or kind of maybe try to you know pop it up so right now i got it all the way down you know it still balances a little bit but this is the nature of a jet boat But we're doing pretty good for a slight rip on the water. So then we'll just trim it all the way up. See more of the bow is kind of coming out of the water. You know, more impellers taking on more air. You kind of hear it a little bit more. Well, going up more with it so that's all the way up on on that you can see how much the ballast is coming out kind of cool now you know that getting a couple donuts oh got it completely out of the water try that again So you kind of have to start off kind of slow. There you go. Wide open. Kind of cool. But you can show just kind of, you know, how the adjustment helps, especially in a situation to where you just got it right at your throttle tip, your fingertips, which is nice. So, you do have to change over to a five channel radio at least so i'm running my you know dx5 rugged here and then for the reverse i got it set up on channel h oh channel g sorry so that way i could push it and i can actually just hold it in hold it down and it'll give me my reverse function or you know you can some you can hit reverse too, you know works too um that's you know use my buckets all the way down so so that way i like having it just as a momentary so you just push and hold it and the reverse will come down the reason why you know if i'm coming in really quick or something i can hit a button and then instant stop and then release and it comes right back up you know i'm not fumbling you know push on push off which is you know, to me personally, I like that. 
But you can see just, you know, the controllability. And just having a little bit down, you know, this nozzle all the way down. We'll bring it back up to more of a positive, kind of back to kind of a neutral about right there. And you can see how much it's a little more jumpier. And I'll do it. So kind of calmed it out a little bit more. There you go. Nozzle down. There you go. Smooth it out a little bit more. There you go. It's kind of keeping more in water. You know, bigger stuff, it'll jump, but. There you go. Emergency stop. And the jig is uh, swimming on that one. You better have scuba for the emergency stop. The water come right out and back out. Kind of cool. Let me do that one more time. Where's the stop? Oh. All right, now I want to get back on the river again. Anyway, so that's a little bit showing on the adjustable nozzle. The bottom intake. Woo! Up onto the sand. I'll show you guys here. You know, carbon fiber plate, as you can see. You know, the, the servo back in that corner uses the stock link glitch and everything like that. And, you know, it's a pretty cool setup. Pretty easy. You know, it does require a five channel. So you would have to upgrade the radio and stuff. But, you know, in the end, all well worth it. Still stock, you know, motor, stock speed control, so. But wanted to show you guys. And so, thanks for watching the channel. Stay tuned for more.